Hello, and welcome back to another MATLAB video. Today, we're going to be talking about MATLAB functions. A MATLAB function is different from a MATLAB script, which we have covered previously in this series. A script simply runs, sometimes using variables established before, sometimes running independently of other variables. A script is basically a multi-line command line input with everything created or calculated inside of the script accessible outside of the script. In contrast, a function takes an input and creates an output. A function acts not as a multi-line command line input, but as its own insulated operation, with anything created or calculated inside of it other than the output, not accessible outside of the function. A script uses or creates variables in the base workspace, which is the same one the command line uses, and all its variables are visible here. A function, since it is self-contained, works out of its own function workspace, all of its variables being invisible to the rest of your MATLAB processes. Functions with all these attributes are especially useful for when you want to do the same calculation on many different inputs, when you want to streamline or clean up a script by calling a function, or if you don't want to clog up your workspace memory with unnecessary variables. In many ways, functions increase the efficiency of your computing. To write a function, there is specific syntax to follow. First, open the MATLAB editor. Then write function to declare what follows as a function, the output variable, followed by equals, then the function name with the input variable enclosed in parentheses. I'm calling my function add1 with an input of in and an output of out. This line is called the function declaration. Everything that follows the function declaration is called the body of the function and contains all the necessary calculations. Now that we have properly written a simple function, we must call this function with an input variable for it to run. We can call it from the command line by writing the function name and the input we want to use in parentheses, then hitting enter to run the function. The answer produced is the output from the function we wrote using the input we put in. We can also assign the output value of the function to a variable by writing a equals add 1 of 1. Now the output of 2 can be used in later calculations. In addition to assigning the output to a variable, we can also call a function from within a script. Just like in the command line, a function can be assigned to a variable, and then the output variable can be utilized later in that same script. Functions can be incorporated seamlessly into any existing computing process in MATLAB. And all that is just the basics. Check out using functions for more useful tips and tricks on how to utilize functions to bolster your MATLAB code. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in another video.